This tutorial is going to review how to add a, a correctly styled bibliography or a reference list to your document. Uh, this is something that you will need if you're going through high school or college or sometimes even uh, in professional circumstances and Microsoft Word does a great job of automating that entire process because without it you're going to be looking at style guides and it can take a while and a lot of times you can make mistakes. Uh, Word does a great job of doing all of that for you. Uh, you'll see right here we have a sample document and throughout the document this is in Latin but let's pretend it has all of the uh, English words and a full uh, five paragraph essay. To come create a bibliography, just go down to that next page and then come up here to the tabs and click on references. On references, you can see that you have a few different things. You can add footnotes, you can create a table of contents, uh, and then for our case, uh, you can manage all your sources right here. Uh, so to add a new source, you can come up to manage sources and you can see I have some uh, that I've previously entered and you can do, you can add them and to create one you can pick the type of source whether it's from a website, a book, a section of a book, a journal article, a number of different items. Uh, and then from there you just simply enter in the information from whether it's an author, if it's a corporate author, uh, name of a web page, website, and then all the date information, and then you'd hit OK. I've already created all of these, and we're going to want to put all of them in because we're going to create a full bibliography. And so to do that, you click on the top link, hit down the shift button, then click on the bottom one, click copy, and now you can see they're all over here click close and now you can see there's nothing there right now and that's what we're going to do we're going to add it coming up here you can select the style uh, most universities and schools you are going to select APA style but if there's something else you need you have a full list of additional options you can choose from we're going to select APA 6th edition and click bibliography and here you can select the style uh, and the phraseology that they chose. If you want it to say bibliography, you click that. Uh, a lot of the more modern requirements are selecting or asking you to select references, and you can also do works cited. Uh, for the case of this one, we're going to select references. And as you can see, it pulled in each one of those items that we uh, entered in and that we had in the managed sources and it added them right inside this um, uh, right inside this bibliography so now we have all of our content on page one scrolling down on page two you have your full reference list so you can see the format is done perfectly in APA style you have first name last name uh, if it's a company you have the company the year of the publication uh, the title and uh, the source uh, and you can see that some of them are from magazines some of them are from books others of them uh, the majority of them are from web pages uh, but you can see this would have taken a very long time to do manually and you probably would have got a few things wrong in it uh, Microsoft and Word did a great job of being able to put all that in one nice little package so you can just click a few buttons and it does all the formatting for you. Uh, this was learning how to create APA style and bibliographies on an automated basis with Microsoft Word. Please let me know if you have any questions.